Welcome to part number 13 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to finish up stage number 2 by doing the rest of the world map events, URL races, and the one secret race. So I went and misjudged what I did in the secret races. I did 3 out of 4 instead of 2 out of 4 like I initially thought, and I figured because of that we might as well just include everything in this one big video for the end of stage 2. Oh, it was London first. Yeah, that's right. London, then Madrid, then Cape Ring. Nostalgia at its finest. Hey, Greenleaf City. Welcome back. Yeah, for the URL races, you really need to cut corners because of the damn rubber banding. And starting on stage 3, I'm going to put it to hard difficulty. And you guys will see why URL races are so hated by me. <laughs> because of the damn rubber banding. Especially at the airport. They're the worst ones. Circuit inside a park. Oh, you remember this map? Nice. I only remember it because I actually beat this game like two months ago. So it, it kind of gave me a refresher on everything because I hadn't played this game since like middle school before like I played it again recently this year. And um, yeah, it was a nice refresher for everything because unlike Most Wanted where I played it like at least over 10 times I've beaten it. This game only beat it like once as a kid and that was it. I seriously need to figure out a better way to... Looks like there's a, a sick pang inspired section. When you were a kid, you were driving the car. Done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to figure out a better way to segment this game and like split it up into parts for my LP because the game is so sporadic and it doesn't really tell you how many specific events there are in a game. And I should also mention to you guys right now, if, the, if you want me to go Ultimate Rice with all my cars, I need to do a glitch. It's not like a game... It's not super game-breaking or anything, but... You'll, you'll see when the time comes. You don't remember what race it was? I mean, I can't imagine you do, just because of how old this game is. When was the last time you actually played it? Only one more lap to go, and we're done. Yeah, the game is 14 years old. That's crazy, isn't it? Like, it's crazy to think that, like, you know, th this is our generation of games. Obviously, guys like Angry Video Game Nerd, when they first went on the internet, like, in 06, and they were talking about, are you going to watch my video? I'll be right back. All right, cool. Thanks, dude. Oh, it's 11? Oh, so I just uploaded then. Awesome. $1,100 in the bank, and we move on to the final hidden race. And there's a new car in the car lot, which I think is the Hummer H2. It's right over there. It's a sprint race. Oh, it's a street cross race. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 
but yeah, I mean, like I was saying before I read that comment, um, yeah, w when guys were talking about NES games on YouTube, you know, it was their generation and they were reliving it. And, you know, it's crazy to see that a lot of people were still into the old games, you know. And I think that's how it's always going to be. You know, older games are never going to die in terms of, like, obviously in terms of nostalgia, but also, like, in terms of, like, a hardcore following. It's crazy to think that a game like this still has the following that it does. And it still garners a lot of attention, you know, which is awesome. Okay, two more laps to go. But yeah, I'm really glad that the, um, I'm really glad I'm doing these in, in all one video together because this race is really short. You remember Snoop Dogg on the Game Start? Yeah. Riders on the Storm remix. It's a pretty good remix too. I'm not really a fan of remixing like classic rock or any kind of songs like that, but I actually like the Riders on the Storm theme mainly because of nostalgia, to be honest. But isn't that crazy to think that Snoop Dogg was in three of the or two of the best racing games with an exclusive song? So this game with Riders on the Storm and then Gran Turismo 3 with Doggy Turismo 3. Like, dude. Like, Snoop is awesome for that. <laughs> the freaking legend. So that's the last hidden race complete. Alright, so. One circuit race and one sprint race remain. The circuit race, I'm going to do that one first. Uh, I don't know how old Takashi is, but he's probably like in his 20s. He sucks, dude. He sucks dick. Literally and figuratively. Just saying. He loves that number. And all his little kid followers are like, ah, 6'9", ha ha. I get it. Oh, I know, dude. That's why Most Wanted soundtrack is my favorite Need for Speed soundtrack. Because I can't say that, like... I, I can't honestly say that I'm a big, like, Disturbed or Cell Dweller fan, but when those songs came on... Dude, like, especially during the Blacklist races, dude, they got your blood boiling, and they got you pumped, like... Holy shit, it's about to go down. Stuff like that, you know? Yeah, NFS Underground 2 is a good example, Arthur. Although I do like Most Wanted soundtrack more than Underground 2's. Alright, one more lap to go for this circuit race. Which, I'm not looking forward to the racing in Jackson Heights. I hate racing in the mountains. Rainbow dreadlocks, yeah. It's really stupid. It's like, why? What's the point? You need to play Most Wanted again. I don't remember the soundtrack apart from Disturbed, Bullet from a Valentine, and Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, actually, the A7X song is really good. Blinded in Chains. Or Blinded by Chains, I think it, it's called. <laughs> Crackhead SoundCloud rapper blokes. Yeah, I think he started off as one of those kind of SoundCloud rappers. I don't really know much about him, to be honest. But from what I've heard, like... I've heard a lot of bad things about Takashi, to be honest. I know the game wants to whoop his ass, like, really bad. It's still bloody yellow. Hey, LT, what's up, man? And it's going to remain yellow for some time. 
We're only in stage two still. We're just about to finish it up. We only have one more sprint race to go and one URL race to do. Do I like trap music? Hell no. And I, I, okay, fine. I, I guess. I, I don't know. It just. Ti always talking about trap music. Yeah, like I guess if you say trap music as in, as in Ti's album trap music, then sure. But apart from that, no. I, I hate trap music. What's up, CK? Like, oh man, I I just can't stand music nowadays. Like, it, it was bad. It was starting to get bad, like in the, in the late two thousands. But dude, it's just get it gets worse. But that's the thing, man. Nobody's gonna look. I, don't, I doubt anyone's gonna look at trap music and be like, "Wow, this thing was amazing." And I get it. Every single generation hates the new stuff. But some stuff ages better than others. Like. Do you guys remember the whole jerking movement? Nobody talks about jerking anymore. No one talks about any of that kind of shit. No one cares about the new boys anymore because... And I still remember that because of all the jerk battles in middle school. Sadly, I have to remember that because... Unfortunately, everyone was fucking doing a stupid dance. And if you didn't do it, you were made fun of. And yeah, I was made fun of because I didn't, I didn't like... I, I didn't like doing that shit, you know? Like... <laughs> It's just funny looking back at it now because it's just like, dude, it hasn't aged well. No one remembers that shit. And I hope trap music is the same way. I hope nobody remembers this crap. I don't care how successful it gets. But sadly... Okay, what the fuck are you on? Okay, go... Go look up on YouTube. Jerk dancer. Jerking. I guarantee you you'll find some of those videos still. You know that song's like, you a jerk, I know. You a jerk, I know. It, it's that shit. I'm... America, please, yes. Why do I have... Why do I have to live amongst the idiot crowd? I'm not saying America is a bad place to live. I love my own country, but... God damn it, some of the trends we have are so retarded. It's funny, because I actually had cousins who did that fucking dance, too. And, I, and when I talked to him about it, I'm like, hey, do you remember Do you remember you were part of that group, that, that jerk group? And then they were like, shut up. They're like, I, I don't even want to remember that. It's like, well, you're making fun of me for that shit. Why well, I didn't want to do any of that dumbass crap. Have I ever heard of Grime? No, I have never heard of that. Oh, it was a noob who commented that. Sorry, noob. Hey, UFC, what's up, man? Spain music trends hold my beer. What the fuck have I done? Nothing. I, I made my car look really good. See, I, I gave it some flames, painted it yellow, gave it Orion body kits and this tasteless big spoiler. Don't worry, we're only getting started UFC. It's going to be much worse. I guarantee you that. Brazilian funk? <laughs> okay. Um, I'll definitely look that up, Arthur. <laughs> I do like a butter yellow car with a muffler painted with ketchup. Don't forget your tasteless body kits. Orion all the way. Unfortunately, Orion can't get us 10 stars unless we give this car every other um, unique upgrade, which I don't want to do because I want the upgrades to go on a specific car. Speaking of trends, I wonder which trend is popular on Instagram this time around. I don't even want to look up what's popular. I don't even look up the trending stuff on YouTube or Instagram or any other social media platforms because every time I do, I just fucking cringe. You guys still have reggaeton? Dude, over here on the West Coast, reggaeton was only popular like in 2004 for like a few months, abstract. 
Dude, reggaeton died faster than any, any trend that I could remember. Because I remember everyone was all about Daddy Yankee, everyone was all about gasolina, and it died quickly, dude. Dude, that trend died faster than any of Wings of Redemption's fucking controllers. I swear to God, dude. Alright, cool. Your winner. Is that the only race or is this a championship? Oh, it's a championship. Cool. Alright, we'll do the next race. We'll get a thumbnail for the second round. This car so yellow, Ronald McDonald filed a stolen car report. Oh, dude. 14 year Dude, I I'm so sorry. Dude, abstract, my condolences go out to you and your country, bro. Dude, I'll have a moment. Uh, dude, I'll have a one minute silence right now for all the people who have to suffer through reggaeton right now. There you go. There's your there's your 1 minute moment of silence. <laughs> this car's so yellow that I'm still searching an eggnog ad on it and it's so yellow it looks like an NES left out in the sun. You only get Spanish music in the summer with Friday's the sunshine hit and everyone's like this shall be celebrated by Mediterranean vibes. Oh boy. Latin trap, which is basically reggaeton and rap. Oh, dude. And those trans songs are sexist as hell. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's terrible. <laughs> it's so yellow the Beatles want to live on it. We are living in a yellow 240SX. Hey, excuse my horrible singing. Ooh, sick power slide. Showing off all the flames on the car. <laughs> so yellow, we're finally in lawsuits. Oh, the lemons are finally in lawsuits. Damn, there's so many analogies on how ugly my freaking yellow 240... Dude, I mean... I I said it in the title of the stream, like, come laugh at my hideous 240SX. And it's only gonna get worse from here on. It's so yellow, Homer Simpson wants to marry it. SpongeBob became a ricer. This is gonna be a meme on this channel, yup. Although the daddy meme died quickly, sadly. Imagine every single fucking teenager in Spain listening to this. Me gusta como mueven el culo de las dominicanas. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, have I seen the Xenon race trailer? Looks epic. I have not, CK. I'll look into that. But before I look into it, let me make a thumbnail. And that's the end of stage two. We've done it.
See, I thought you were being nice and talking about my car. I was about to say, every single song, party alcohol, sex, party alcohol, and sex. Did I forget party alcohol and sex? Yeah, also, they talk about party alcohol and sex. So we've unlocked Turbo Kids. Ooh, Jackson Heights and a new car in the car lot. Okay, now put another one in the books, because that win closes the deal with the sponsor. Now get out there and get yourself another contract. We will, Rachel, we will. But we have other business to attend to, like getting all the money pickups in Stage 3. So that'll be next.